Hello. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. So I just want to start off by talking a little bit about your original connection to the book, because I know your Lebanese grandfather had a copy on his bedside table, which you saw, but I wonder if you could just talk a little bit about you know, discovering the book and kind of what it means, that connection, the fact that your grandfather in a way introduced you to the, to the stories. Yes, uh, I used to see this book always there, you know, and I memorized the, there is a very enigmatic man in the cover, I guess because it was next to my, to his bed, it reminded me of him, and uh, I didn't know what it was, and I didn't know it was a Lebanese author. My father spoke Spanish with a very, very heavy Arabic accent and uh, he smoked cigars and uh, he was the best grandfather ever he was so good to me but i didn't get to know him very well so later on when i found the book in life and i read it i i got to learn a lot about who he was just the fact that he was reading this book and to me it felt like he was talking to me through the book and he was helping me through life and teaching me about life through the book. So it's been obviously very, very special to me. Um, <coughs> as, <coughs> as you said, excuse me, the book is very, uh, very philosophical in, in what it's trying to convey. What, what was your own uh, philosophy in terms of trying to adapt this book to the big screen and particularly using an, a, a medium which I, I suppose we typically think of as being aimed at children? You know, in a way, telling adult themes for a kind of, you know, you, but using a medium that's very much aimed at children. I just want to talk a bit about your, your kind of, your, your ideas behind that. Yes. Um, I think, uh, to me, he, Khalil Gibran, loves life. And he talks about, it's a love affair with life. And every poem, it's a love affair with life. And I think that this love for life, it's a little bit what can save us in the world because uh, it connects us to our humanity and we've lost the value of life a little bit. Uh, it's, it's not, you know, there's so many killings around the world. And so I think inside of us there's always there's goodness inside of every single one of us. And it lies in our humanity. And we have to try to remember this part of us. And so I think when we are children, we are the closest to it because there is a purity to it. And so this, this film, it's very ambitious in the way that it, it tries to disarm the, you know, all the different barriers that we put as we grow up and go into a window to the purest place inside of you. And we do it through music, through poetry, through beautiful art. And that's why the animation is important. Uh, where your imagination doesn't have the boundaries of mass and you can, uh, you can play with what death looks like and uh, in a joyful way and in a way that also reminds you of when you were a child. And it's also something you can share with your children and establish a conversation with it. So it, it, there is acting, but I think the, the, the use of all this amazing talent through all these different uh, artists that are painting their own philosophy, their own interpretation of each one of the poems and the subjects, uh, it's disarming. You, uh, so you have very, uh, I think, eight directors <coughs> each handling a segment of the, of the story. You gave them complete creative freedom in terms of how they decided to approach those stories, I think, is what, is, I think what you said in hand. I wonder what that was like, though, because that's, that's relinquishing a lot of control. And what if, as the producer, what if you had not liked a particular way one story was being interpreted? Yeah, first of all, it's 10 directors because it's eight chapters, but one of them is done by two twins, 
and, and also there's the main story done by Roger Allers. All the money came from different places in the world. We had directors from different places in the world. The movie is about finding your voice. It is a discipline as a producer not to manipulate the message of the film. It's a personal journey for each person that watches it. It was important to have different perspectives. And, and I was excited to find out what was their perspective on, on, on a certain poem. The more different that they are from each other, the, the, the better it is for the film because it takes you into a journey and again, you don't expect it. And every time you don't expect something, again, you are disarmed. And so, and you are more willing to experiment something new. Um, but also you, you, it's richer. It's richer because everybody brings something. They're different religions, different, different uh, backgrounds, different styles of animation. Uh, obviously, Liam Neeson's a very important part of the equation. I mean, you know, we hear his soothing tones reading out these lovely words and, and obviously being, you know, guiding us through the story of Mustafa. Was he always your first choice? I mean, how did you arrive at Liam as, as, the, uh, as the man? It, the it's n it was not easy to find the prophet because, um, well, first of all, you're terrified to find some, someone that it's going to end up in jail a couple of years later, you know, I don't know, for drunk driving or, I don't know, doing racist remarks. It's terrifying. Um, you had to find somebody that, that had that voice, that has wisdom, but it's not pretentious. And, um, and it was hard to think who could this be, you know. But then once we arrived at his name, that we were all super excited and we were very lucky that he wanted to be a part of it. Um, I think uh, because of the, 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 I suppose the philosophical themes of the film and maybe the, the, the sort of, maybe it's in particular, uh, it might be a difficult sell in North America. I wonder if that's a, I know you're trying to sell the film around the world. I wonder if that's a particularly challenging market to kind of crack with, with this film, do you think? Well, the, the book who sold a hundred million copies um, was very successful in North America. Um, we showed the film in Toronto, North American audience. They clapped during the film five times. They all cry and the film is not sad, so they cry because it moves them. And, uh, but America, it is always a little bit afraid of, of uh, original, of new. They're always a little bit afraid. So I am not concerned of the audience. Um, going through the mechanisms of the industry, it's been much more of a challenge because it is, it is strange that it's an industry that it's supposed to be about imagination, but it's very unimaginative <laughs> and it's full of fear. But I am not concerned. I don't think it's a challenge to get to the audience, uh, not because I am so smart that I know exactly what's going to happen, but because I saw it. Uh, this, this has been an all-consuming experience for you, but clearly, I, mean, I think you, you know, as a producer, you, you you know, you clearly fight for what you believe in and, and you don't give up. But was there ever a, a time when you were making this film that you did want to give up because it was such a difficult journey to get it to the big screen? It's, you cannot even begin to imagine how difficult it was. To, to, to try to, it's, it's a film that breaks all the rules. Um, yes, there were many times where I said, what was I, am I crazy? What was I thinking? But whatever happens with the film, every headache, every it's been worth it because I, I am very proud of the film and for the people who have seen it. It's, there's been people who tell me it is the most inspiring film I've ever seen in my life. Maybe not for everyone. Not everybody wants to seek for the best 
side inside of them. <laughs> and nobody, not, not everybody wants to remember to be a child. Not everybody wants to have a moment with themselves uh, as they have a good time. But f for the people who do, there's nothing out there like it. And f this is for them. Fantastic. Well, good luck with it. Thank I'm you. Look forward to seeing Thank it you. Uh, come out. Thank you very much.